I was at the bakery the other day picking up a birthday cake. Finally, number 32 was called. I was given my cake as the woman rushed away, yelled, next, and pointed me toward the register. Well, I opened it up and was glad that I checked because I had to speak up and explain that my son's name isn't Becky and that princesses were definitely not his theme. Thankfully, they just had me confused with another customer. At the restaurant, I wanted to impress my date with my knowledge of French. So when the waiter recommended soup de tête de poisson, I said that sounded good, mm -hmm. but then I had second thoughts, and I decided I had to speak up. Uh, what exactly is that? Fish and soup. Ew. Well, my date wasn't impressed, but I'm certainly glad I spoke up. I was waiting to get my car the other day, and the valet hands me keys and says, Here you go, sir. It was then I had to speak up. Yeah, no, that's not my car. I thought if I could even fit into that. <laughs> Oops. Small things happen every day, and you have to speak up for yourself. It's even more essential when you're talking about your health. Whether you're in the hospital, at the doctor's office, or getting an x-ray, speak up if you have a question about your illness, treatment, medication, or anything else you don't know. It's important that you fully understand your doctor or nurse. It's your health, after all. So please, speak up.